Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about book and booklet creation in Microsoft Word. Everything you need to know. So this is going to be a really quick video on how to create booklets, your masterpiece, your magnum graphics in Word document. So first things first, before you start writing your masterpiece, go on the section table right there that we have home, insert draw up to paper pal, quill ball is right here, and so much more. So for this one, please go to layout. So under here, you're going to have two dialog boxes, one for paragraph and one for page setup. Make sure you click those little arrow right there. So we're looking for page setup. Once you're here against three sections, we have paper layout and margins. And under margins, look for under pages, multiple pages, please choose book pool. Now, once you're here, you're going to have an idea where we're going with this, right? Now, this is going to be the privy, the one on the below section. And the next thing you want to do right here is change the gutter. If you want to increase it, for example, half an inch, an inch or so, you'll see the preview option right there. I'm going to go for half an inch or 0.5. Next up, let's go under section for paper. So for paper, you're going to have the size. You have letter up to custom size right there. You have a very specific dimension. Each time you choose a specific column or a specific um, paper size, you're going to have a default size dimensions based on the paper size i'm gonna go for a4 right there so we have this width on height again guys we still have the preview and how it looks like each time you change your paper size and basically that's gonna be step one cover for paging or resetting of the pages here click ok and we have an average here for a book so we can start typing our book here even though it doesn't look much but once you print this out you can have this book bind or it just joins together now welcome back to the video I have enabled this um, story, a short story of our two chapters, so we can have a sample here. So what will you notice first? So you'll notice on the first part right here, or chapter one or page one of the book, it's going to be up to the middle. Comparing it with chapter two, it's a little bit on the left. So don't panic for that one, don't be nervous, that's perfectly fine. Because this is designed in such a way where the chapter one would be the first page, of course, and chapter two would be the one on the behind it, or just beside chapter one. So the reader can have an easy way on reading it. So don't change anything here. Don't be nervous because that is going to be the most idea of our page setup from earlier. And anyway, once you're satisfied with everything, for example, you're not going to change anything anymore. Click on file and then click on print this one right there. So we're going to have a preview on how it looks like. So the first thing you want to do right here is print on one sided or print manually. So there are printers out there, advanced printers where you don't have to choose manually. But for this one, you just reload the paper, but don't worry about that one. That was just going to be a little bit tedious, but it will work out. So next problem here by uh, common is going to be the printing of all pages. Because sometimes the chapter two or your second page is going to be upside down. So here's a little tip for you guys. So the tip for you guys would not be found here. For example, you're connected to a printer. Your PC is connected to the printer. Make sure you print on short edge. There should be an option right there that says short edge or print on short edge make sure you look for this settings on your printer it cannot be found inside microsoft document or any microsoft offices so that you cannot find it here you cannot really find it there it should be found this little option right here can be found on your printer may it be lan connectable connected to your pc or laptop or wireless now next up for example you're satisfied with what you have here right you can also print this one as a pdf what I mean by that one is click on save as right there and then just choose a location type. So I'm going to go for desktop. And with that being said, I'm going to look for this PC right here and then enter the document name. For example, I'm going to go for book one. With that being said, let's just go for this one. Make sure this is PDF and click on save. Here's our book right here. Easy as that. So once you're done creating a PDF, there is also another option under export. So you can create a PDF, your XPS, but just below export, there is transform. So transform to a page, basically publishing your book in a website. That's the main thing here. So simply choose a style here and basically choose on transform and you'll be good to go. And basically that's it. You have created successfully a book inside Microsoft Edge, maybe PDF, a book publish or a website. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, 
I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.